Today we're talking about border. I'm gonna show you guys the default rotate setups, holes, reinforcements, stuff, along with some extra little pox on locks flavor tips so that your border defenses can just be that much better and then you can maybe win win some of your defenses and uh, win some border games we're going to start off with the armory bomb site as you can see here it's the bomb this is pretty much the default site for most people most people go here first i don't think it's the best site i personally think bathroom tellers is the best site uh, and then probably vent or workshop uh, underneath here as probably the second best but everybody goes armory all the time this is probably the site you're gonna end up on most of the time so we'll talk about it first so first things first let's go over the reinforcements for this site so you'll grab these two armory walls these are just standard along with this small office wall this is a great place to put a mirror window if you have mirror as an option so putting it from the inside facing out that way you can watch the breach with the window so those would be three walls you're gonna want to get this back archives wall because if you don't, they can make this super long line of sight from this window all the way into armory. So definitely want to be reinforcing this wall along with your other's archives wall here. So that's two in archives, three in armory, leaving you with five. Next up, you want to get these three office triple walls. This just allows you to extend out into office, waste a little bit of time in here, hold it a little better. And then the attackers have to come through this double door only rather than coming through the triple wall as well so if you if you leave this soft the attackers could come through here through the double door or through the window but reinforcing this cuts off another option for them to come in making it so you know they're probably going to come in through this double door unless you hear that window break behind you or hear them vault into the window behind you so this makes it a lot easier to hold office there's a lot of cover here that allows you to play off this spot and hold this double door so reinforcing these triple walls is actually a really good move now that leaves you with two walls which we're going to throw on these back fountain walls so this just allows you to give up the office area if you need to and fall back into fountain to hold this area instead and then you can always retreat back to site so it's almost like a three-step process the attackers now have to clear they first have to clear out an office area and then they have to clear out the fountain area and then they can finally work their way onto site if they are deciding to do this office side take so that'd be all 10 walls now let's talk about the holes that you will be making and why you'll be making them so first things first you want to make you're gonna want to make footholds in this small office wall this allows you to sit in small office if they do try to push through the site you can wall bang them as they run across uh and if they do want to kind of challenge these holes what they have to do then is prone in the middle of the open and prone out like this but they're exposing themselves to this swing at the same time so making these prone holes is very very strong some people even open up the entire wall with prone holes but for default purposes just reinforce this wall you are also going to want to open this hatch that way if they come in from the front door you can kind of hold this kind of angle and watch if they try to push into workshop a lot of people will try to get under here and like nade you out from underneath or buck you out from underneath so having this hatch open contesting this is Firstly, a good way to stop that, but secondly, you can drop down and come back up metal if you're getting in trouble. So this is a good like fail safe option if the attackers are pressuring you very heavily and then you can kind of play a retake with your team on this area. Next up on this half wall, I like to make just a little hole here for the vent window that allows you to play not only behind the half wall still and contest the breach, but then if you do hear them uh, punch the window or if they're trying to nade you out from the window, then you can kind of challenge it. Either that or they just try to hop in through here and just gives you a free kill. So making this a little hole helps either that or you can make it back over here on this side and watch it from here it is a little tougher of an angle so this is probably like a pc thing i don't know if you can hit the shot with the controller or not but um it is it is also a safe way to do it as well next you'll want to make these holes in the top of the archives wall and what this allows you to do is contest any plants that are trying to go down over here so if you have a guy in africa which is what this area is called you can then throw your smokes from here or throw your nitros from here to stop that default plant on there and if they're planning say on the bricks by the window you can do the same thing with your smokes from here oh fuck <laughs> so if they're trying to plant on the bricks by the window you can do the same thing oh two for two i suck okay so as you can tell i should not be on smoke but if they are planting there a nitro is way easier because the smokes do go farther but that would land like on the door frame kind of thing and then smoke them off and you know you can stop the plant that way if you aren't completely garbage as i am i like to make some holes here as well just if they do try this archives door plant then if you have a player underneath they can just shoot up underneath a lot of people will like backwards plant here with monty which is also a really good play you can do on attack uh if these holes aren't here so you can use a backwards plant and that'll cover you from anybody trying to shoot you from this half wall here so some people will stand here and try to 
you know, spray through this wall on the plant. But if you are the Montang, the Montang shield will protect you. So that's that's a pretty cool little trick you can do as well. I also like to open this office hatch. That way my office player can escape if they need to. If they're getting pressured really heavily over here, they can drop down and rotate out rather than having to sprint across the middle of the open and be very exposed doing that. So if you have a guy playing over by this triple wall, like something like this, they can then just drop down and leave if they need to. And the last thing for this site is I like to make these head holes along the break wall, even along the... Uh, well, I don't even know what this is, the office double door hallway here, because that allows you to see from office, you can see all the way to the break door. So this is a really good spot for like a 1.5 player, like a castle, an alibi, whatever. They can contest the push into there. Uh, and you can also, if you're in this hallway, you can hold it from here. If they're not taking like the east side, uh, you can contest like some crazy long angles from here as well. So these are just nice holes to make and they just open up opportunity for you as a defense. Uh, if your team understands it and the attackers have to actually drone it out in order to see that you're holding these crazy angles otherwise they're just gonna get shot in the side of the head when they try to push in so it's something that it requires the attackers to do a little more work in order to actually take that area they have to understand a bit more how you're actually holding it so i just love making these holds because most people just don't expect them because most people are just bad at the game and for your shield on the armory site a lot of people will put it here like this i'm not a huge fan of this yes you can block the breach you can contest the door but it's on the soft floor so the attackers can nade it through the floor really easily impact it through the floor they can even get it from the vent window through the floor with just a simple ping on it from a drone like outside the door or whatever so i prefer to put it one like this facing the doorway and then do like a bandit trick or a cage trick to try and keep the wall shut or you can actually put it right up on the shelf and instead of reinforcing the wall you open the wall and reinforce the other one so what this allows you to do is actually contest the balcony and make it way harder for the attackers to even get to this wall in the first place so it wastes way more time and it I feel like it will use your shield a little bit better because this floor is all cement. They can't clear it through the floor. It's pretty challenging to clear it from this area, especially through these little shotgun holes. And at the same time, you might land yourself a few free kills uh, just using it. So that's pretty much it for the armory site. Now, of course, this is just my preferred default setup. This is what you see a lot of the time. Not everybody's gonna run like this, so you do have to kind of change it up as you go. Okay, so next up we got the bathroom tellers bomb site, and this is my personal favorite for this map. I just think it's a great site in general. There are a couple different ways to set it up, so I'll kind of hint at some of those as we go, but for now we're just gonna go straight default, straight basics, probably just like the easiest setup to do and the one that most people will understand. So right off the bat, you're gonna wanna make a rotate hole beside the window. I prefer this side much, much more than the other side because if you open the rotate on the other side, the attackers are able to get this really deep angle into bathroom, which I'm just not a fan of. So I like making the rotate here. So that way you can firstly hold the window safer like this. That forces them to vault in. You'll shoot them in the side of the head as they're vaulting in. And then you can reinforce off this one to block off that long angle that the attackers could get. So this allows you just a little more space to move around in bathroom because as you can see, if say they open this one as well, they could get literally just cross the entire site in half and that is painful and not fun. Next up, you just wanna reinforce off all these bathroom walls. Now you don't have to do this, but this is the most common way to do it. Uh, you can also do a rotate into workshop and extend out and hold the workshop area instead and use these four walls on the four walls back there. But default purpose is again, just grab all four of these walls. So I'll put your count up to five. You'll grab this wall inside as well, which will make it six. And then you'll do some footholds along this wall, which a lot of people don't do this, but this is just the easiest way to do it because this then cuts off all the plant spots in this site. So the attackers can't actually plant in here besides this area um, without being exposed by those footholds. So that footholds makes it a lot scarier to be planting anywhere else in the site. And this is gonna be kind of like their last result for a plant spot. For your shield for this site, I like putting it right here. You can stack some ADSs along the side here and allow you to hold this hallway very safely. And you can deny that plant spot from this door as well. So that is a good way to counter that. Uh, you can also use your smokes over here if they open up that wall or whatever to stall the actual push into site. So you basically hold this site from bathroom and then open up the teller site to hold from the other areas of the map. Speaking of holding other areas of the map, that is why you want to hold the customs area. So that will be how you deny the other plants. So in order to do this a little bit easier, you'll want to grab these two detention walls. 
So that'll put your reinforcement count up to eight, but that just allows you to hold this area a little bit better. You can maybe hold it like this, and then if you hear the call that they're planning or whatever, you can go and look like this. You can also do some punch holes in the passport walls here and even make uh, like a like a like some shotgun holes in these walls. And that allows you to just watch the walk down the east stairs from uh, from over here in Customs. So Customs is a really, really strong point to hold on this site uh, because of literally all those reasons. So again, as, as smoke, you can either open up the head holes in this wall just to add the extra pressure of them pushing into here, or you can just do footholds if you don't have any Customs player on this one. So for your eighth reinforcement, you want to grab the site hatch. This is just a default hatch to grab. Kade is really, really good on this site, especially if you're setting up this way, because you can Kade off the hatch and you can Kade off those bathroom walls, making it just like a really, really strong bunker. Of course, all the floor up here is soft for the most part. So you do have to be careful of the vertical play uh, because the attackers can get up like this, you know, clear the shield from above. They can even come above uh, the shield from over here in archives. So a lot of the site is soft. It is something you do have to worry about is that vertical play. Uh, so just kind of be careful of that. A nice thing I like to do is open up both these hatches as well because this puts a lot of pressure on the attackers if they are just straight up coming into workshop. So if the attackers are trying to open these walls, they then have to worry about any roamers dropping on them from above or looking down on them from above. And typically you won't have people playing in here. Now, if you are extending out into workshop, I would not recommend this because then you're probably going to get killed from the attackers above. So the same reason, uh, just working from the other direction there. So for your last reinforcement, you can do one of two things. You can kind of use it wherever you want on the roam. So allow a roamer to use it wherever he feels necessary, like something like this. So he can play in the 90 hall and block off the break door. Or you can pull that single wall off of um, workshop and you can put it up here to get both the armory walls and I'll show you which one I'm talking about so you want to reinforce all three bathroom walls but then this extra wall is the one that you can actually open up at head level instead because that allows you to contest them if they come into workshop and then it allows you to bring that wall over to the army wall so these three are the most important but even if they get this you still have the shield facing this area and it's really not too much control that you have to worry about the main concern is that they can cut the entire site in half from there which they can do from the window anyway so it's not a huge deal and you still have this bunker area like i mentioned before and you can still deny all the plants even if they have that control with this wall open so know your priorities you want to hold bathroom and you'll want to hold customs and those are the two strongest points and along with uh the office area or the archives area to do a little roam up there to waste time so they're not opening this vertical play on you to completely clap your cheeks in sight so that's the main idea but it can be a little complicated the next site we're going to talk about is the ventilation site i'm not a huge fan of the customs room and the supply room because you do need a lot more coordination for it i find personally so you can hold above the site and use vertical play to hold the site you can do some in-depth castle strategies on it but because supply room is so isolated it can be a challenging site to hold in ranked so i just prefer the ventilation work site i prefer for armory and bathroom all in ranked over the customs bomb site so we're not going to talk about it today but for right now let's talk about ventilation because that's the last site we have on our list so here we have the ventilation workshop bomb site and right off the bat you'll just want this rotate because this is a good way to rotate between the sites the reinforcements on this site are pretty straightforward you'll reinforce all of the bathroom walls off along with uh, that single hallway wall and i personally like to get uh these two as well so i'll put your reinforcements up to six right off the bat so there's six out of ten just getting all six seven six of those walls but six i almost said seven i don't know what's wrong with me i lied we're not gonna get the sixth wall we're just gonna get the fifth wall because i forgot about a reinforcement so you'll get these four and this one to make five five walls right there next you will head upstairs and you'll want to open the office hatch just for pressure if they are taken from that bathroom side over they then have to worry about a flank coming from there and you'll want to reinforce this workshop hatch this one is really important because this hatch gives the attackers so much control if they open it up so reinforcing this one is a very good idea the armory hatch is one you want to open up because that allows your roamers to drop back to the site if they are getting pressured very heavily. So opening up this hatch is a good move. You'll reinforce off these two armory walls because this is how you're going to hold the site. You're actually going to hold it from above using 
shotgun holes. So this hole allows you to watch the window, whereas this hole allows you to watch the doorway. So you can watch not only the push in the sight, but you can watch the ventilation window. Now you can also make holes on this side if it makes it easier for you, but you can be exposed to the door. It's a little more unsafe. You're exposed to archives as well. So hiding over in this area allows you to play these holes and you could even open up them on this side whatever side you kind of prefer because then you can just sit here and kind of look between the two but i like i like sitting like this uh because then you're not exposed to the armory door while you're doing it now you do have to be careful of archives which is why you want to reinforce again this long angle because you don't want a guy sitting in the office window cutting your entire armory in half because that would suck now the other holes you can make on this are the footholds along the small wall like you would on the armory bomb site. This just makes it so attackers are more concerned actually pushing into armory on the players that you have up here. So playing this with like another character to hold the door or somebody on the window to watch the push in is a great way to do it. Now you do again have to be careful with this archives area. So usually having a player roaming around the office, archives, fountain area is good. And then they can always use the office hatch to drop back. I also recommend like barricading off this double door so they're not just crouch walking in on you, surprising you, shooting in the back, whatever. Uh, but this is a nice little roam that you can use to actually hold the site from above. You know, the more utility up here, the better. ADSs, mute jammers, anything you can to kind of hold this, uh, like bandit, cade, whatever, to keep the wall shut. Uh, and then you have all the site control from above that you need as well. And then your site players, rather than having to play in ventilation, they can just play back in workshop, hold this area, make sure nobody's pushing through the site on them, and it's a great way to do it. Your last reinforcement, I like to just grab this ventilation wall just so the window players can't get lines of sight all the way through site. So if they open up this wall, you can see that they can see into that server rack where a lot of people sit. They can see the shield spot, which is where you will put your shield like this and that's another area that they would be able to see through the window if you don't reinforce this wall so reinforcing that wall also a very good idea and then i like to make just these throwable holes so you can not only like smoke from here but you can if you're playing back here you can smoke the doorway plant you can even push up and, and smoke the window from here anything you really want to do so those throwable holes are just a little nice touch on top of that nitro smoke whatever whoever it is you're using the other thing you can also do is make these like throwable holes again but stand on the desk to actually contest the pushes in you do have to be careful because of course you have this hallway and they could come from over there as well so this would be like a vertical default setup where you're holding the site from above the other option you can do is hold it horizontally where instead of reinforcing all those walls up top you would bring them down and hold uh, like the detention customs area so you can watch the push in through the front door from here you can even play like bottom metal and watch the push in the site from here uh, and then you would also have to be concerned about like people coming from here barricading this castling this is usually a good call as well castle's really really strong on the site and then just you know you worry about your tellers and you're pretty much good to go now that does give them top control it allows them to sledge all this out or bucket all out and push your site players around which is very uncomfortable at times especially with a good sledge or buck player so you do have to worry about that but I like to do the vertical hold because most people are just too scared to clear it properly. And if you have really good roamers, usually you can get a few picks up there and really just crush down that attack. So this is a great, fantastic way to hold workshop and ventilation. So that is the three main sites for border guys. I hope this helped you a little bit. I hope you've learned something and I hope your border defenses can be a little bit smoother because of these tips. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.